is going on, ladies and gentlemen? And I say that as a shout out to my good buddy, the bear. And the reason I'm shouting him out is because there are a couple very nice pieces uh, that I will be sharing in this pickups part two with you that came from him. So I'm just going to get right into it. If you watched part one and enjoyed the art bars, I enjoyed making that video. Um, and if, if you're into that type of thing, go check out part one. So let's go ahead and get into this one. As you can see right there on your screen, I'll just go ahead and leave it zoomed in for a moment. We have an older Engelhard bar. This is the third series, and the, what's special about this one, other than it being an old Port Engelhard that's beautiful with absolutely stunning ripple lines in it, is back then they used rotary stamps, and sometimes those rotary stamps came out of whack uh, or out of line, and they had some errors. This one in particular is on allenglehard.com, this X8 stamp error variety, um, and there was less than 250 of these made. So this has a very nice premium on it, and it's a gorgeous bar in my opinion. Absolutely love it. So let's go ahead and zoom out for just a moment, and uh, I'm going to show you <clears throat> one of the stars of the show for sure is this absolutely stunning universal silver kilo bar. Um, this was sourced to me by, again, my good buddy, The Bear, um, who also stacks similarly to myself and pours absolutely awesome pieces. So if you're not familiar with The Bear, go check them out. I believe that these were poured in from the top in a mold. And here at the top, this one has a crazy looking cavern, just all crystallized and beautiful. This is a very rare, um, very excellent, in my opinion, kilo bar love 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 it and uh excellent addition to my perma stack right next to it while we're talking about the bear is a two ounce poured piece from volmer poured silver and this was a gift to me from a good buddy so thank you very much bear i uh, appreciate that man you know um just uh bear's a good guy he makes real good content if you're watching my video you most likely have heard of him if not i will put his link below Please go check it out. All right, so let's go ahead and move on. This month, I went ahead and picked up another one of these AGS bars, this 10 ounce. I'm absolutely in love with the shape of this bar. Um, these things are so tall and so chunky. They're just very, very neat bars to have in the stack. If you've never had one of these in your hand and you're thinking about getting one, um, you know, as long as you're getting it for a decent price, I, I don't think you'll be disappointed um, when you pick it up really like it I got a couple of those now next up we have a 10 ounce another vintage 10 ounce it's kind of bowed out and bubbly looking uh, from Phoenix precious metals you can kind of see the silver stamp there again I apologize for my lighting it's a dreary day today uh, a lot of rain going on where I'm at so there's not a whole lot of natural light the bottom has a very cool uh, sand finish um, they really dialed this one in 10.0 right on the money so very cool they filed off the pigtail there just a nice old bar and to match I went ahead and picked up a 5 ounce as well so very cool um, very happy to add that to my vintage bar collection I added a 3 ounce uh, Nevada coin mart poured old lo little loaf little ingot very neat little bar um, I have a one ounce and now I just need to get the five and the ten but uh, I again I pick these bars up as they come to me when I come across deals I don't I don't hunt these down and overpay um, so uh, I've been finding a lot of good deals lately is why you've been seeing so much of this stuff from me here you just have a pillow top uh, Engelhard not the poured variety but still one of my favorites just because it's so sharp and so smooth if you've held one of these you know exactly what I'm talking about but uh, these pillow top p-series Engelhard bars are pretty nice I like those okay next up <clears throat> I have this Circle City 5 ounce bar uh, again which is a beautiful bar I love the shape of it I love the textures on it it's just just an amazing bar um, I do have one other Circle City bar that was uh, traded to me uh, from Silver Hustlin' 13, and I still have that bar and, and, and love it. So um, I found the 5. Now I'd like to find a 10. If you guys got a 10 out there that you want to do a trade or give me a good deal on, let me know. 
I'd like to find a 10 ouncer from the Circle City. Um, all right, next up we will look at another little pickup that I picked up for nice and cheap. Is a Golden West uh, Teton. I believe that's how you pronounce it. You will correct me if I'm wrong. I'm sure the Swiss of America is the more uh, rare variety of the one ounce Rolo. So I'm really happy I, I scored that. Next up, we have uh, a half ounce. We'll go through some Mutiny Metals. I grabbed some Mutiny Metals this week. Um, here's a little half ounce chunk that he does. It's like a cob with the, the crown skull on it, which is pretty neat. We also have a four ounce and a three ounce poured bar from him. I picked this one up on Instagram. Just rough and rugged uh, pirate treasure. I dig it. I like clinking them together. And we have... <clears throat> A couple new in the Wicked Six Sick Relics, excuse me. Um, he's starting a new like monster line. I believe that's Cerberus is how you pronounce that. I could be wrong. And they have another pinup girl. And the detail on that stamp is wicked. I love it. Uh, chick there in a bikini on her scooter. Just uh, pretty cool pieces. Of course, these are limited. Um, just like all the Wicked, or I don't want to say all, almost all of the Wicked Sick Relics bars. Here's a nice new little one ounce chunky that they came out with i went ahead and grabbed that as well in my order um here we have i picked, just picked up at the lcs i got it for cheap i just didn't have one of these in my stack yet and i saw it there in the bucket and i'm like well i'll i'll just add it you know i enjoy poured silver i do like the looks of the prospectors golden gems bars and i do have one or two of their 10 ounce bars but i did not have any other ones so i was happy to add that here we have another beautiful 10 ounce vintage bar this one is star metals um just a gorgeous bar absolutely love this it's got beautiful stamps on it um just a really nice finish i'm a sucker for these old 10 ounce poured bars if you haven't realized or haven't noticed from my videos i absolutely love them and anytime you know we can find good deals on them i scoop them up when i can here we have which looks like a, just a you know one of your uh, basic pour or excuse me pressed chunky ingle hard bars which i do like by the way this one's a little bit different this was in the beginning of the run as you notice the p stamp uh serial variation and then also with this bar obviously um i don't know i don't know if i'll be able to try to compare it it's it's hard to see on camera but it's a little bit thicker font uh, and the stamp here the 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 plus sign's a little bit different and it's a little bit different on the back you notice the texture and the, and a little bit thicker lines and font um, All Englehard says, I believe, oh man, less than 250 of these or 250. So it was a nice rare scoop that I picked up from um, Instagram for a nice deal in my opinion. So I was happy to add that to my Englehard collection. Next up we have this beautiful Jackson Precious Metals. Um, just, a, just a sexy looking bar. Uh, nice dark stamps, nice frosty face. Um, just They did a really good job on these. I did pick up a couple of these, but uh, one got traded off to a friend of mine. And uh, where we are, I hope that you uh, hope that you enjoyed it and that you got it safely. So, Jackson Precious Metals, and lastly, um, it's another chunky uh, variety of the Inglehard Press Bars. I just like these. I have quite a few of them, maybe a dozen or so. Um, I just I just like them, and this is a really nice, clean one in the mint seal. So when you find these at good prices, my opinion, I like I like to grab them because I, I do collect Inglehard Bars. So I am going to lift this up for just a moment. And here you're going to see $50 space and quarters in my silver bowl, my sterling bowl here that I picked up recently at melt price. Um, and then I also picked up two rolls of Walkers and two rolls of Franklins. So we got $90 space there. Um, what I will say briefly, because we're getting closing in on 10 minutes, is I like to pick up weight. I like to pick up silver cheap. You see a lot of premium stuff from me, but the majority of it, I do not pay premium. Some I do. I noticed that 90% is on sale everywhere. They're practically giving it away. And I got some of it for under $11 um, face from Provident. To me, you get under $11 on the 90%. I tend to pick stuff up when other people don't want it. And then when it swings back around, that's when I capitalize and, and try to profit. I did not have a ton of 90% in my stack either. So I did want to take this opportunity to increase my holdings as far as 90%. I do I prefer the halves more than anything. This was just a random, but like I said, it was under $11, so I didn't really care what they sent me. So I was happy with that. So we'll go ahead and zoom out and just do a little recap. I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, there's uh, 207 ounces here, I believe, right, roughly right around there. 
So just stacking hard, adding more to the stack, hunting those deals down, finding the rare stuff, just having a blast. And I appreciate each and every one of you guys that, that uh, support my channel. Come by, stop by, throw me a comment. Um, I appreciate you guys. See you on the next one.